Hey Bonaire gang, oh, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell for every time I upload some new content. And this is a very spontaneous video. This was not planned, but I'm starting to think that none of my business, none of my videos, <laughs> are actually planned and the ring light is reflecting off my glasses so i'm just going to take them off please excuse my appearance because like i said this video is very spontaneous so today's my two-year anniversary well technically i'm talking in past tense well future tense because i'm filming this day before my two-year anniversary but by the time i upload this it's gonna be my two-year anniversary so it's my two-year anniversary for my company, Tempty Lips Cosmetics, LLC. And I just want to talk about my business. I was just want to probably give a little bit of advice for up and coming businesses. And yeah, that's really all I want to talk about for real. And I was going to do it on Instagram, but I was like, nah, baby, that's going to be too long. So let's just do it on here on YouTube. So here we are. So, um, if you're new here, if you don't know anything about me, I'm going to just give you a little bit of background about me. <laughs> so, um, I have eight years of education for business. I have four years from high school because my high school did offer um, like business courses. And then I have four years of undergrad and I have a bachelor's degree in entrepreneurship management. I have about 10 years of customer service um, experience. I have just 10 plus years studying business, um, just like on my own terms, not even like school wise. Like I like to study business and business trends. And I've been running my business now for two years. So yeah. <laughs> Um, my company now is not my original business venture. Um, I went, I always knew I wanted to have my own business at seven. I knew that for a fact. Um, how I learned that I wanted to be my own business owner at seven is because I used to always go to work with my dad. I was a daddy's girl. If you guys don't know that already, I was a huge daddy's girl and any chance I got to go with my dad to work, I went. So my dad was a construction worker slash brick cleaner. If you don't know what a brick, uh, a brick cleaner is, it's basically someone who cleans bricks for a living, like the exterior brick buildings. So they were used some form of acid and like a little scraper to scrape the bricks clean for a more brighter and newer appearance of the building so that's what my daddy did and he would always um like if i was not at work with him he would always come home aching and like sore so i would always give him like a mini massage and at that point that's when i knew i wanted to be a massage therapist so um fast forwarding to high school um my senior year in high school my business teacher and um, an English teacher who actually had a certification in massage therapy, they were helping me um, to get into the school that I wanted to get in. So college was not my plan. I need you to understand this. College was not my plan. I did not want to go to college at all. I think college is a scam and it's a waste of money. And I still think that to this day because the government is not getting no money out of me for my student loans. Anywho. So they were helping me, um, you know, trying to get myself together to get into the school, like with financial aid and stuff like that. And then my fiance at the time, he was supposed to go to a school in Baltimore because the massage school that I wanted to go to was in Baltimore. So in order for us to stay together, we were going to go to school in Baltimore. That didn't happen. Something happened with him not getting accepted into the school for whatever reason. Can't remember why. This was damn near eight years ago. I don't remember why. So um, 
he got accepted into the wonderful Virginia Union University and he suckered me in into going and I was just like no college is not my plan we had this discussion I do not want to go to college I had a conversation with my dad and he was like, college may be good for you because you know, I wanna own my own business in brick cleaning and you can probably get a degree in business and help me with all the paperwork while I do, you know, all the manual work. And I was just like, do I have to daddy? Like, I don't want to go. I can study business on my own. I don't wanna go, I don't wanna go, I don't wanna go. And then magically, after my ex-fiance got accepted, somehow I got a scholarship. And then I was just like, well, obviously God wants me to go to college. So I ended up going to college. I got my degree in entrepreneurship management and now I am in debt up to my freaking ass. <sighs> so I was originally supposed to write a business plan for my dad's business. As you guys know, but if you're new here, I'm gonna reiterate it. My dad had passed away my junior year of college. And that was the year I was writing my business plan because that was the year of my entrepreneurship class. So after he had passed away, um, I decided not to write that business plan because I didn't know anything about brick cleaning. I didn't know where to get the supplies from. I didn't know anything, so I was just like, there's no point in me writing this business plan if I know I'm not gonna go forth with this business. I mean, I still could have done it, just in the memory of my dad, but mm -mm. I, only, I only really did this for him. I went to college for my dad. So dad, you owe me some money. I, I don't care if you're deceased. You need to find some way to put some money in my pocket. Now, in my entrepreneurship class, I was just like, okay, well, let's just write it for my massage business company because that's what I was going to go to school for anyways. So, um, I wrote up my plan for that. I actually won second place for my business plan in this competition my senior year and I was, I, I was very happy and excited about it. But yeah, so I won second place for my business plan in my school and um, I got my degree, got my degree. So let's fast forward to, so that was uh, May 2017 when I graduated from college. Let's fast forward to June of 20, ooh, yep, 2019 when I first started my business. So I was living on my own. Um, I was doing Lyft and Uber full time at the time, and um, I was getting bored. I was getting really bored. And if you know me personally, I love lipsticks and lip glosses. Like it was probably never a day people did not see me flaunting my lips on Instagram with lip glosses and lipsticks. Like I see them. Like they don't look that good right now because I don't got no lipsticks or nothing on. Them, but when I'm made up, I'm putting some pictures on the screen, my lips be popping. So, you know, I'm cheap. If y'all don't know that about me yet, I am very cheap. So, I'll always go to beauty supply stores and get lip glosses from there. And they will be, what, like $2.99, $3.99, $4.99. And I just did not like the textures of them anymore. I didn't like how thick they were I didn't like how sticky they were I didn't like how they always left little white marks at the corner of my lips didn't like that so I was just like I can do this myself like I'm already making my own lip scrubs at home like just for my personal use anyways why not start a lip a lip gloss and a lip scrub business why not? Doesn't seem too hard. Child, I had went out the next day to do Lyft and Uber to make $100 to start my business. Because I needed like $50 for the lip um, gloss materials that I needed. 
and then I needed about $50 to um, get the lip scrub materials that I needed. And I did not know how hard lip gloss making was. Like my first batch of lip glosses, the first five original lip glosses that I made, they were trash. They were trash. And I really do appreciate the people that did purchase them. They were trash. Not even gonna lie, I didn't know what the hell I was doing when I first started my lip gloss business. My lip scrubs, they were cool, but what I've learned about making my own lip scrubs, I cannot make them in bulk. And the reason why I said that, say that is because if a lot of people are not ordering lip scrubs, so let's say I had made a bulk of lip scrubs in July and I didn't have an order for a lip scrub until like August or something, or let's say September. That sugar is literally sitting in that container and like probably like a little bit of air is getting into it, making it stale and making it hard. And so I used to always, I used to throw lip scrubs away like crazy. And then I learned not to do that anymore. I learned to only make the lip scrubs when they are ordered. And that, that's how it should be. Cause I don't add any preservatives in most of my products and the lip scrubs did not have any preservatives in them. So they would just go stale. But my, my lip scrubs, they always been good. I've never, I have not changed the formula of my lip scrub since I've started, but my lip glosses, I have changed them a lot. It was either the oils that I mixed into them. Um, it's just the different pigments. Um, and even the flavoring oil, I think I had changed from one brand to another, but otherwise, um, nothing has really changed about my lip glosses and lip scrubs. So boom. So let's fast forward a little bit. Um, I started making lip balms, I think December, 2019. Um, those weren't that bad. Like they, they, they could have been better at that time, but I, I've gotten better over time with making my lip balms. Um, so February, 2020, um, that's when my current bae had gave me the idea of making beer products. And this is how, this is exactly how it went, you guys. So, um, when we first started talking, me and him were on FaceTime all the time. Like, y'all could not tell us crap. Y'all couldn't tell us crap. We were on the phone all day, every day when we first started talking. And I would literally watch him do his beer routine. And at that, that this was right before I had locked my hair. So, I was still like a curly natural. So he would use Cantu on his beard. And me being the natural that I am, I told him how bad Cantu was for him. And he gonna say he only used it for the scent. He only used Cantu for the scent. And then I went into like details on like the bad things that were in Cantu and like why his beard wasn't being as soft as he wanted it to be. Why is not being shiny as it as he wanted it to be? Why he still had patches in his beard? And he literally said that you are going to make me some beard products because you're a nerd. That's what he told me. He said, you are going to make me some beard products because you are a nerd. <laughs> so then that's how I started developing my amazing best-selling beer care products and if you have not experienced my beer care products you are missing out so the first product i de developed was the beard oil because that was um our main concern because he had patches in his beard and then we slowly started developing the cream and let me tell y'all something about my my first batch of creams i'm gonna leave a picture on the screen my first batch was horrible. It was bad. It was bad. <laughs> it had three different butters in it. It was just bad. Like I couldn't use it for myself because I didn't have a beard. And at that point I was locking my hair. So I wasn't putting a lot of stuff in my hair. So I, I couldn't really use it. Like it looked, it looked good, but it did not feel good. So it took me a while to actually tweak the formula into the formula that I have now. 
Um, so then after the beer cream, I developed my beer bars, which were my top selling product, top selling product of all time. And then that's when I developed the beer cream, I mean, mm, the beer conditioner. Um, I no longer sell beer bars because I've, as much as my customers love them, beer bars don't last that long, especially if you're washing your beer two to three times a week. That's like using the same bar of soap three times a week and it's just you using it over and over again. So um, I got a lot of complaints about that the, beer didn't, the bar didn't last longer. So then that's when I switched it to my now beer wash. And it's literally the same formula. It's just in a liquid form. And, then, and it's so much better. I actually love making the beer wash. So yeah, so I, that's when I developed all of my beer care products. I slowly started developing skin products. Um, I also had gotten to lipsticks that year. Um, and yeah, so my first year of business, I had my official first year of business from June. Oh wait, I'm recording on my phone, god damn. I was like, where's my phone? I'm recording on it, dummy. From June um, 19 to June 2020, I think the total amount of orders that I had, and if I'm wrong, I'll write the number on the screen. I think the total number of orders that I had from my first official year was um, 150. I think that's that sounds about right because I was not keeping track of how many orders that I had but I, I know for a fact that I made like a thousand and some change my first year I know that because when I started selling my beer products that's when like my business really started taking off was when I started my beer products um and then when i started getting to all of my beer care i mean my body care stuff like my whipped cocoa butter my whipped soaps that are doing so amazing right now um i just got into making foot scrubs and the formula that i'm using for my foot scrub is really a formula that i've been using on myself for years like you guys know i like to keep up with my feet my feet are my money makers Literally, if you want to see feet content, you can follow my OnlyFans. It's down in the description. But they are my money makers, so I got to make sure they don't look rough, they don't look tough, they don't look crusty, they don't look dusty. So I was just like, let me just sell this. Why not? It's a really good formula. Um, and it makes my feet feel so good. <laughs> But um, let's just talk about, I guess, a little bit of advice that I would like to give to small businesses. And I think I talked about it in one of my other business videos, but um, you do not have to rush your process from June 2019 to June 2020. I did not have a website. I did everything through DMs. I really, at that point, I think I really lowballed myself because like I, I didn't really price my products how they should have been in my first year and that was my mistake because I just wanted to get my products out there. I wanted to build clientele. I wanted to have loyal customers. Like that was my main goal in my first year was to just get my business name out there. From June, 2020 till now that's when I started to really establish like my product worth like I, I was no longer lowballing myself anymore so like once you really get a feel for your products once you really start believing your products and once you really have a very good customer base they won't mind if you increase your products by like a couple of dollars. Like they really will not mind. And depending on what the product is, they will not mind at all. Trust me. 
with my beer care i've changed the sizes of the bottles so many times i've changed the prices of the beard oil so many times i'm about to change it one more time and then i'm done changing the price on it and i still had my loyal bearded uh men excuse me still order from me every single time because they know that my product works they know that my product you they can't find it nowhere else i i personally believe i have the best beard care period i don't care what anyone says i think i have the best beard care and that's how you should feel about your products you should feel like all of your products are the best it does not matter if other people are making this product and this is the problem with businesses people think that because you do a certain business, the that business is like oversaturated. Like so many girls make lip glosses, so many people make body butters, so many people make body scrubs. That's cool. But those people aren't you. They're not you, they don't market like you, they don't take product pictures like you, like they are not you sis or bro, they're not you. And people really need to understand that. There's like 50 different types of white bread. And people will faithfully buy only one brand of white bread. You feel me? Like don't, don't think a certain industry is oversaturated because there's billions of people out there that probably don't wanna buy from those people but they would buy from you. So my advice is to build a loyal customer base. Don't really get into the fundamentals of having a professional business. Um, because I mean, yeah, that catches people's eyes because nowadays so many people are scamming people. But if you're consistent with like posting your product pictures, you using your products, you doing whatever with your products, packing orders, whatever the case may be, that's how you get more credibility and that's how people trust you more. Like, people really started to trust me more when they saw that I was out, you know, delivering an order to someone in Richmond or I was at the post office at that little kiosk machine typing in people's addresses. Like, that's when I started getting a lot of more credibility because I was always consistently showing me doing something with my business if you're making a product show you making that product my customers love when I make my products because they can actually see what I am putting into the product that they love to buy from me um, they love my packing videos um, I don't have a lot of guys that send me a lot of pictures for like their beers but I I really need to get all my customers about that but um people love to see my before and after pictures from men using my beer care so it's all about content it's all about how you portray your business and if you don't believe in it your business will not grow and I solely believe in that like if I did not believe in my business within my first year Cause I was so, I was so stressed out that I was not making sales like these other girls were making that make lip glosses within my first five months. Cause I was literally getting like one or two orders at that point, like a week. And when I slowly, you know, started to build my customer base, that's when I really started to see that my business can grow. Another thing is um, get into engagement groups, Facebook groups, um, find people who are there to help support you, um, find people who can mentor you. I, I've never had a mentor. I'm not paying someone to mentor me in my business. I know me and my business have more work to do, but I am not going to pay someone, period. I'm not. I have too many textbooks in my house to look up where I'm struggling at to pay someone $300 to tell me what's wrong with my business. I'm, I'm not doing that. You can do it, but I'm not doing it. But yeah, uh, find a mentor. Uh, don't copy someone's 
like actual you know like business stuff like their content and stuff like don't copy that um if you sell like apparel and if you do drop shipping or anything like that please stop using vendor pictures like that really turns me off as a consumer this is not even a business side of me when i see someone with continuous vendor pictures on their site i do not buy i don't buy if you're selling clothes when you buy your samples for those clothes, buy in your size and so you can model it on your website. And that's one other thing that I've seen with entrepreneurs now. They don't like to show their face for their company. Like you rarely see them in their product pictures. You rarely see them like just doing anything with their business. And as a consumer, if I see someone who doesn't model their clothing or anything like that, I'm not buying from them. If I don't see you using your body products, I'm not buying from you because I want to see that. That's how you attract me. Product pictures are cool. Texture pictures are cool. But if I don't see how your product is being used, I'm not buying it. And that's just from the consumer side of me when it comes to small businesses. Excuse me um but yeah um we're two years in I've seen of a lot of growth with my business um profit wise expansion wise I'm almost at all 50 states I'm still waiting on my first international order but yeah so yeah my two-year anniversary I'm having a sale today um I don't remember what sale I decided to go on, but I'm gonna put it on the screen. This is the sale for my two year anniversary. It ends at 11.59 tonight. I am also having a Juneteenth sale. So make sure you are either following me on my business page, which is always in this corner, on TikTok, Snapchat, my personal Instagram in this corner, Twitter, all of that is down in the description and so you guys could be updated and notified when I am having a sale or just favorite my Etsy store. If you have ordered from me before, um, if you had any type of experience with my business before, please leave a review either on Etsy or Google because I am Google certified, you guys. I am on Google. You can Google me. But yeah, um, please leave a review. Reviews do help small businesses out a lot. And that's why I do the Uniquely Black series. And so when someone wants to order something from a business and they want to YouTube it first, because that's usually what I do. I YouTube videos first before I Google them. But yeah, um, please leave a review. It helps me out a lot. It helps people find my shop and it helps people buy my products. And it helps my business expand a little bit more. I am on the road to trying to become a full-blown entrepreneur and it would really help out a lot if you guys would either share my content, leave reviews, or recommend my products. You can read about all my products on the site, check them out, they're really amazing products. Take advantage of whatever sale I'm having right now <laughs> and just try them out. The best way to try out my products are really through any of the bundle deals, like the teaser, the bear sampler, the lip care kits. Those are pretty much the best way to try out all my products um, at an affordable price. So as always, I love, love, love you guys. And don't forget to follow me on all social media platforms. All my names are down below. And like I said, my Instagram names are in this corner. And... I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.